What is going on guys, Miles here, and today we're going to be looking at two new weapons which have been recently added to Black Ops 3 multiplayer. The two new weapons in Black Ops 3 multiplayer are the AK-74U, which we did expect, we had a leaked like video around about a week ago now where we actually saw someone pick up an AK-74U in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, which was pretty ridiculous, I don't know how they got it, so we did expect this gun to be coming to the game, but there was a second gun as well, we have a pistol, which is the classic M1911, which you guys may know from Black Ops 1. Or maybe COD 4 and I believe Advanced Warfare as well because both of those games actually had the M1911. Uh, but in COD 4 obviously it's not DLC and in Advanced Warfare it was DLC. And I think it was actually released after the game had had its year so to speak and when Black Ops 3 had actually came out. As with pretty much every other DLC weapon in Black Ops 3, the only way to actually get these two guns are through supply drops unfortunately in the black market so I'm probably never actually going to get this thing in multiplayer which kind of sucks but I'm not really surprised and hopefully that will be fixed by COD World War 2. If they took the Infinite Warfare approach that would be absolutely amazing where they just give away every DLC weapon for free to those who have the season pass and even if you don't you can just complete a basic challenge and get the DLC guns for yourself but it looks like I probably won't ever be getting these weapons in the game but you can actually test these weapons for yourselves even if you don't have them and that is through actually using custom games. Which is how I actually have gameplay of both of these new weapons which you can see in the background of this video. And what you have to do is you have to search through all the custom games. I recommend going through the trending or the recent ones. And look for ones which are titled something along the lines of new DLC weapon and may include the AK-74U or the M1911. And if you load one of those up you can actually have a class which has one of these new DLC weapons in it. Some of them are obviously trolls and they don't actually have the weapons but there are some genuine ones in there. And it's really fun because you can actually use these weapons for yourselves but obviously you can only use them in a private match against bots or your friends. One other question which has arised after the release of these DLC weapons are will they be added to zombies because Zombie Chronicles has literally came out like a week ago now and it obviously includes maps from Black Ops 1, World at War and also Black Ops 2 and both of these guns were in Black Ops 1 and I remember specifically the M1911 is actually the starting pistol for a lot of the maps in the Zombies Chronicles DLC. For example like Kino de Toten you actually start with the M1911 but in Black Ops 3 you unfortunately start with the MR6 so I'm wondering if Treyarch are actually going to update the maps and allow you to use these like Black Ops 1 era weapons weapons in the new Zombies Chronicles DLC. Along with the two new weapons they did also add a pretty interesting camo into supply drops but only for a limited amount of time. It's available until the 31st of May so around about a week you have to get this camo and it's called Into the Void and it looks pretty sick but to me it looks very very similar to Dark Matter which I think may be a little bit controversial. If you could get like some sort of Dark Matter camo through supply drops people may not be very happy with it but it does look pretty damn good. I really hope that is the case because then you'll also be able to test the weapons in zombies as well as private matches. But let me know what you think of these guns down in the comments below. Let me know which one is your personal favourite. Probably going to be the AK-74U, let's be honest, because pistols don't have a huge impact on multiplayer, but SMGs are definitely pretty damn good in the game. But if you guys found the video useful, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty, but I'll see you guys in my next video.